see that? Yeah, that's a lot of ass, that boy. Hey! Yeah, we still got you over here! Slam the lid, sir. Looks like an amberjack, potentially. Decent AJ. Very nice dude. Nice AJ. <laughs> nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah. Aaron, damn it. I'm going to take a picture, don't worry. Nice one, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we're about ready to start off on this 44 hour trip. The first trip we've made in about a month. We're excited. How's it going, man? Going good, man. Going on that 44 hour full moon trip. Getting ready to catch some big ones out here, hopefully. So. Sounds good to me, Sounds man. Sounds good to everybody. Hello, Tammy. Hi, how are you doing? All right. Oh, that's a little bit shaky. I got it. I'm good. Right. There's the omnipresent Jason and Will. Right there, guys. We've got a gentleman on board. All right, we're loading the boat up, getting ready to head out. Captain John's going to be at the helm on the way. Welcome back, sir. You ready to catch him up? All right. You ready to catch him up? Oh, always. All right. Where are you coming from to make this trip? Titusville. Titusville. So you're ready to launch then, right? Isn't that the Space Coast, man? DC. Where'd you come from, sir? California, sir. California. How you doing, white people? I, Black people? Mexican, hey, uh, you know, from Jacksonville, doing? Florida, the legend of Willer. I got my coat pocket. The, the, the man that don't know how to stop fishing, I just don't know what to say about him, but we're going to let him slide this time. We're going to see what we can do. You ready? Going, I'm good. How about you, man? Good Spring to see Hill. you. Spring Hill. You ready to catch him up? Yes, Spring sir. Hill in the house? All right. We go under this bridge, we'll officially be in the Gulf of Mexico. That's one thing about uh, John's Pass here, and especially where Hubbard's Marina is located. I don't think there's a place on the Gulf you can get into the Gulf of Mexico quicker than John's Pass and Hubbard's Marina. Literally, you make a turn and you're in the Gulf. As I often say, man, do I have an office with a view or what? It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Even the Pelicans are taking a break. See if well, we got about fishing. an hour till our first stop. Just thought I'd show you how beautiful it is out here right now. Looks like the seas are two foot chop. I kind of hope they stay about like this. We need a little bit of breeze to get a good anchor heading. As you can see, the sun will probably be setting in about 20 minutes. But it is absolutely gorgeous. The month of October is hard to beat in Florida. Let's give you kind of a panoramic view. You can see Captain John up there in the wheelhouse.
I can tell you inside you got a bunch of people eagerly awaiting the first stop. It's hard to sleep on any of these trips on the way out, but the 44 is a tough one. You got to kind of discipline yourself because you really, if you come out on a 44 hour trip, you really want to make sure you fish all night because that's generally the best bite, certainly for the mangrove snapper. Just about to get started here. Here we go. First drop. There she goes. You can see there's a little bit of twilight left. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. There's the moon up. Slide over here. Check out what people are doing. Oh yeah. Hmm. It's like a red snapper down here. Got a venting. Got a venting. I did. Got some lane snappers. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Good. A few bee liners. Cool. I only got three. Here we go. Nice mango coming over the rail just in time, man. Look at that. Just in time. Nice fish, sir. That's what you came for, right? That's it. I got this little bait fish trap, right? You're going for a real deal, Gary. Wow, this guy's got shoulders on. He's strong. Well, there's another theory out there as well. Yeah. <laughs> nice mango there. It's getting close to sunrise. Very good. As they say, mess of fish there. Beeliner. Right Tangle up, you're free. Nice mango from Willis there. Yes, sir. Slide over here where I can get her. Sure. I just want to get a video. We got a big fish on here. Big old shark. Well, I still want to try to get a video if I can see. Big old shark. Watch out for these weights, guys. Jesus. See him there? Yeah. What do you got? Big old shark. Hey! The line is pretty though, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, got a fish on. Got color. I saw a couple. Barracuda. Brought tip out. Don't pull back there, guys, if you're in that. I thought I saw a big silver color at one point. Don't pull hard, don't pull hard, Paul. You're right on the button. Down and out. There you go. Yeah. Down there. Yeah. It's a monster barracuda. Yeah, big old barracuda, damn it. Barracuda? Yeah, a monster. There he is. Look at that bad boy. Y'all watch out as he pulls it in. Lots of teeth on it. Y'all gonna want to move. Don't want that if you don't want it, man. He's too big, Will. Break, he's gonna break him off, huh? There you go. Can I help you, man? Nah, he's too big to deal with. Can I help? Ain't gonna be no big of an easy thing. Nah, he's too big to mess with. That's all right. 
Nice fish. Oh, thank you. That was fun. All right, we got big man's Go ahead, guys. AJ number two. Jump back down. Sorry. There's mangoes biting too. Another nice one. Woo! Ah! Big dog! Woo! Shit. Sorry. Sorry. Decent Goliath. Red basket. Let me get a couple of pictures. Uh, no, I got a knife. Will's going to attempt to vent this fish, man. It's nice and calm out. He's not a real, he's not a giant one. I'm going to bring him in a little closer. Say when you're ready. Alright, where's that knife right behind you guys? I got it. A little big, but it'll work. Alright, I'm gonna bring him to you. Ready? Yeah. Here he comes. Woo. Is that a shark? Oh, that's a Goliath group. No. Oh, for him, yeah. <laughs> nice. Sound like I heard air then. I did, you got it. Get girl. Other side. Well, this is a 44 hour trip. It's about to come to an end. This is officially our last stop, the captain said. The sun has gone down and the moon is coming up. Let me give you a little view of that. I'm good right here, man. Thank you. There we got the moon rise. Got his camera. As I always say, I have one heck of an office with a heck of a view, right? A million dollars. Tell us how we did, Will. Well, 44-hour trip. It was our first trip back in a month, and the conditions seemed right, but the fishing was relatively picky throughout the trip, but we had a long trip to do it, so the mangroves were steady. John will tell you he picked them throughout the day, and uh, we ended up with a decent catch by the end of it. The jacks didn't cooperate very well, nor did the grouper. We got a few groupers, a couple nice reds, but picked up the mangroves steadily throughout the trip. Got a decent mango catch. Lost the bull mahi on the trawler. And uh, overall, a good trip. All right. Well, we're back anyway. That's we're back, baby. We'll try something different next trip. And, uh, we'll so you're going out again Tuesday, right? Yep. We'll be right back out Tuesday with a light load. There you go. Come on out. Did y'all have a good time? Oh, yeah. Always. Absolutely. All right. Always. Well, we're back. Concludes a 44 hour trip, full moon trip. You can see uh, John's pass there in just the distance. 
overall it was a pretty solid trip it started out it was one of those kind of trips where uh it was in spurts so to speak uh we started out at least certainly i did pretty hot on the mangoes and then they slowed down i would say overall the night bite was not as good as i hoped it would be although it was it was solid i got uh i caught about 10 mangoes during the night i did get a gag grouper there were several gags caught i think the rest of them were caught during the day but uh there were a few pretty big amberjacks caught one fella as you'll likely see in the video got back to back amberjacks the biggest one probably in the 60s and the other one probably more like 35 about 40 maybe but there was a couple of others caught that were pretty good size i had one on that was a monster just could not keep him from dragging me along the edge of the reef and finally uh he damaged my line enough till it popped but uh, i did catch a goliath a juvenile goliath i guess of sorts probably i'd say he's probably about 120 pounds i thought at first it might be a big gag or a car boat that's what i was hoping for it turned out to be a goliath but it was fun i enjoyed it but the mango bite was uh like i say spotty during the day we'd have a couple spots where you hit them pretty good and a, and a couple spots where you didn't get much at all there were several really nice red grouper caught probably about uh half a dozen gags in total so overall it was a, a pretty solid trip the weather was absolutely spectacular uh typical for october in florida if you've never been down here people always ask me uh when's the best month or so to go fishing probably one of my favorites is in october just because of the weather it's just so nice in general so i uh, hope you'll come down and check it out if you haven't already as you can see there we're just about to go through the john's pass bridge i'll give you a kind of a slow panoramic view here here in the pass picture perfect a cloud in the sky from what I can see Enjoyed fishing with you. Everyone and all their gear off of the boat. The fellas will start pulling the fish out of the box. They will throw a big pile up on all the right, stern deck. We're going to walk down there. here and watch them throw a few fish out. See coolers that are pretty much empty right now. This gentleman's a little tired. <laughs> but we'll show you they're, uh, they're empty now, but many of them will be filling up soon. Look, we're live on Facebook. All right. <laughs> Don't forget about our life. Fourteen. Right here. Mystery solved. Drop it. Drop it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. That's more than I thought. Okay. Like I said, it starts with an empty cooler and about to fill it up. Is that your cooler? That is my cooler. I think you need a bigger cooler, dog. I got a bigger cooler in the Again, car. that's 14. Oh, that's 14. Yeah. That's so. I think he got first and second place in the AJ. I'm giving my license. Nice gag. People are lining up for the fish clean. What was it? It was 29. 29. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Nasty, nasty. Oh. Well, good morning. Good morning. So we got two of the three ladies, I think, yeah. were on this trip today. Yeah. We're oh, there 44. We're All right, bugs, cool. Yeah. So uh, let me ask you a question. What would you say? What would? Don't stop talking. You're no, you're always in the way. Nothing changed. Yeah, <laughs> nothing changed. 
What would you say to uh, women sometime that are scared to go on like the 39 hour trip? I hear that they're a little I bit afraid say, of it. What woman doesn't want to be with 58 men? 58. It smell like fish, right? <laughs> That's what I'd say. Are you nuts? It's, it's so did wonderful. you have a good time? I had a great time. You'd recommend it to others? Absolutely. Yes. All right. Well, I hope to fish with you again in the not too distant future. Bye, John. Bye. Say hello to Bob. Bye, 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 Bob. Bob. He'll be he'll be the editing this. Okay. All right, from an empty cooler to a full cooler, all in one swoop. Yeah. Oh, one try. Anybody got a pocket knife handy? Uh, I don't have mine on. It must have left by another pole. I don't. <laughs> There you go, a full cooler now. That's what you come for. Take turn empty coolers to full coolers. Yes, sir. Why you come? Knife. Yeah, just a second. We're lining up for the fish cleaning. Yes, sir. Not as big as the other one. Oh, double stringer? Oh, yes. Double stringer? Way to go. Uh, 47. Just give me your... Uh, 62. How much is it? 65. Well, I was pretty, pretty close. I said 62 on the boat. Get here, John. Get a shot of you. All right, and thus concludes the 44-hour fishing trip. Good job, Captain. All right, we're going to head in here. I'm about to head back to Hawthorne, Florida. But no trip really ends until we see the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina. The ones that make it all possible. Oh, my God. And even, and even this guy over here. Hey, hey Pappy. <laughs> My pappy said, son, you're going to drive me to drinking if you don't stop driving that hot rod lingon. There you go. Y'all have a good day.